refreshing Minnesota weather. It's about one degrees out here, but I tell you, when you've got Burke's Happy Mile Signature Seasoning, you can't wait to get to the grill. Summer, winter, fall, it don't matter, snow, nothing will stop Burke's Happy Mouth. Off to the grill! fantastic New York cut steaks sprinkled with Burke's Happy Mouth Signature Seasoning. Cook these babies up to medium rare, medium, however you like your steak and I tell you, you're gonna have some serious Happy Mouth. Here we go, we're gonna take our fresh salmon fillets and we're gonna cut these so that they're easy to flip on the grill. So I'm gonna take a piece about this size. This is easy for me to handle. Notice that it's skin on, fresh salmon. Now it's time for our Burke's Happy Mouth Signature Seasoning. You can just take your pouch and just kinda of shake it back and forth and just cover that nice and generously, just like that. And oh, I tell you, the flavor that's gonna come out of this fish is just like amazing. This is my kids' favorite meal that we make on the grill. Now I like to put a little bit of lemon zest on my salmon as well. Just get a few, just a little bit of there. You don't want to get it too carried away, just to get add a nice little touch of, of flavor on that. Just, just like that. Here we are. Our salmon's all seasoned. It's winter outside. We're grilling. <laughs> One thing, the little trick I learned when you're grilling fish, it's nice to take a little bit of olive oil just go in and soak your rag and just hit, the, hit your grill grates. Just hit them real quick, just like this. Well, here we are, we're gonna check our meat. That's one thing that's really important when you're doing fish. You can overcook it, so you gotta make sure you're on top of it. Here we go. See, we got a little bit of flare up going here. We're gonna just move that around and just check the texture of our meat. Okay, we're doing really close. We're really close to flipping here. It's just what we're looking for, that black char. This is the skin, so you don't have to worry do is we're going to take our skin off and this skin if you've cooked it just to the right darkness there and you got that oil coming out it's going to peel right off like that now some people like to keep that skin on I, I don't prefer it but that's what you're looking for just a little bit we're going to pull that fish off look at how it's just ready to flake off there how perfect is that oh, here we are the finished product we got that salmon that's been grilled with Burke's Happy Mouth there's a little bit of lemon basil butter right on top of it about Burke's Happy Mouth Signature Spice. We actually have this in aroma-proof, resealable pouches. And the great thing about it is you can use this to use it as a shaker for your meat as well. Here we are with some awesome venison tenderloins. Look at those babies. Oh, this is precious meat here, oh yeah. If you like venison or wild game, I gotta tell you, Burke's Happy Mouth Signature Seasoning is perfect for all kinds of wild game. See, it's seasoned generously. We're gonna put these bad boys on the grill and we are gonna have some serious Happy Mouth. Now look at those bad boys grilling. Venison tenderloin. This is some very precious meat for a deer hunter. I tell you what, Burke's Happy Mouth Signature Spice just brings to life wild games. You can put it on venison, you can put it on elk steaks, you can put it on buffalo. It's amazing. Nothing like fresh venison steak. Oh man, Burke's Happy Mouth's on it. Oh look at it. It just makes my neck thick just thinking about it. <laughs> Here we have it. A meal fit for a king. Look at that venison tenderloin. Burke's Happy Mouth Signature Spice, fresh salad, spaghetti squash with Happy Mouth, baked potato, oh baby, that's what we're talking about. Here we go, we've got 
got all of our fresh vegetables. We've got olive oil, extra virgin olive oil all over this. We're gonna grill this in our grilling basket on our grill. Talk about the freshness here. We've got a healthy meal, fresh tuna, fresh vegetables, but we're not sacrificing taste. This is gonna be awesome. Gonna toss that happy mouth in there. Look at that. Oh, the extra flavor that's gonna bring out. This is gonna be awesome. And we're gonna grill these on the grill right with those fish. We're gonna have some awesome time eating this stuff. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take our fresh vegetables and we're gonna put it right in our grilling basket. Look at this hot grilling basket. Make sure you get it nice and hot. We're going to just put that in there and we're just going to toss it for a while. We don't want to overcook them, just a little bit el dente. But I tell you what, look how beautiful that is. Oh yeah. Here we're just going to toss these vegetables around in here. Just move them around a little bit. Here we are, our Burke's Happy Mouth Tuna. Fresh grilled vegetables, look at all that goodness. Fresh salad, man, it don't get any better than this. Today we have a bunch of our guests coming over, and this is an awesome meal to make with guests. Um, it's simple, it's not overly complicated, but it's amazing in its presentation. We're going to make what's called Alice Spring Chicken. Right here we've got all of our chicken, and it's all ready to be seasoned, and we're going to use our Burke's Happy Mouse Signature Seasoning. Now the great thing about Burke's Happy Mouse Signature Seasoning, we've got a lot of wonderful ingredients in here. We have sweet Hungarian paprika, toasted granulated onion, granulated garlic, kosher salt, cayenne pepper. Now it's only 35,000 heat unit cayenne. Normally it's about 80,000 in most cayenne pepper, so it's not overly hot, but it gives you a little bit of bite. There's regular pepper. We also have marjoram, thyme, a uh, little bit of rosemary, a little bit of oregano, and basil. Okay, we've got our chicken here, and we're gonna take our Burke's Happy Mouse Signature Seasoning in its pack. It's a resealable pouch. And we're gonna actually take that and use it as our shaker and sprinkle generously all over our chicken. We're gonna just cover that real nicely, just like this here, all over our chicken so it covers very well. Okay, here we go. We just put our chicken breasts right on the grill. It's nice to have a nice hot grill because we like to sear them so we get all the juices in there. And after we get that done, we're gonna take it in. We're gonna put some Colby Jack cheese, a little bit of bacon bits, put it in the oven, melt that cheese, and we're gonna have some serious Happy Mouth with Alice Spring Chicken. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, we've got our Alice Spring Chicken going in here. We just put some of our barbecue sauce on. I'm just gonna get that on here. What's nice about having barbecue sauce, this is a homemade barbecue sauce that we make, but we get it on here and it has molasses in it and lots of other goodies. Maybe that'll be the next Burke's Happy Mouth special. My dad has actually kind of perfected this recipe, but it's something we really like, and it makes a really nice glaze on the chicken. Okay, here we have all of our chicken breasts. It's got a nice little glaze on it, the barbecue sauce. We've got some grated Colby Jack cheese and a little bit of bacon bits. And all we're gonna do is take our cheese and sprinkle it just generously right on top of all of the chicken. We're gonna get it on just basically kind of like that there. And then we're gonna take a little bit of the bacon bits and just put that across the top. And here we have all of our chicken all plated up with our cheese and our bacon. We're gonna put that in the oven for about five minutes just to melt it down. <laughs> One of the favorite things we like to do at Berg's is smoke our meats. We've got some pork, baby back pork ribs in here. That we're smoking. Sitting on the smoker, we use a little bit of hickory and cherry wood smoking. 
We've got our Burke Signature Seasoning. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put our barbecue sauce on that and then we're going to smoke it. Here's some of our ribs now. We've got the barbecue sauce on it. You can see the Burke's Happy Mouth Signature Seasoning in there. We're going to put that back in the smoker for another hour and a half or so. Well, here we are, the final long-awaited reveal. I think they're ready to go. <laughs> Look at the smoke coming out of there. Oh, can you see them? <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, that's happy mouth. I can tell you what. All right. The spare ribs infused with Burke's Happy Mouth Signature Seasoning. Just look at the meat coming off the bones.